You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Like someone was angry. Lovely. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. Go on then. Hit me. Don't get cocky, Wayne. Appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. 
We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Don't worry. I'm always careful. And you seem to be able to defend yourself quite well. Still, better to play it safe. You were lucky help came so quickly. <laughs> Looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swallow game pieces isn't really how that's supposed to be played. <laughs> <laughs> You need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. Oh! They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. Just take another fight. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Good care of him. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly. Mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. I can handle myself. Oh, I know you can. But let's save that for later. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. Well, what is this?
You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! <laughs> yes! I cracked it! <laughs> shh, shh! Lewis, I swear if you don't shut up, I will come over there and shut you up! I solve the cookie riddle, not you! Sorry, sorry. It's, it, it's just... It, it's just... It's his voice! It's driving me nuts! Oh, but you're already nuts. Aren't you, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Wait, that's the move you're going to make? You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. I'm speaking as a... as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy, but he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything Good on, is there? What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woe. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Tell me about, uh, John Doe. John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. 
You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. Now what? Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Not this again. Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Now what? Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost! Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... it's not time for meds, either. Beat it. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one, has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well. You had a good run, right? He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one, too in which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah! Oh, oh my god! Won't someone save my baby? Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the, uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Wait. You know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You wanna find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically! Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. I'll find a way to take her down. But I'm doing it my way. Quietly. Could be interesting. Little Bruce lurking in the shadows. Though, I think we both know you could do more. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something 
darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cubs hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. You don't know anything about me. No? Well, to my eyes, you're a lot like that dad of yours. And I'm a big fan of his work. Taking out his enemies by making them crazy made this place a hell of a lot more interesting. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. 
You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. This might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror, because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away but it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah, I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? 